my channel today is raining so I thought I'll make a lovely pot of vegetable soup so my ingredients are 250 grams of split peas if you don't have that use green lentils or dal or any kind of lentil soak it overnight and then that's what I've done and now I'm going to boil it for about 45 minutes I've got my meat in there you can have whichever amount of meat you want I've got in there about 400 grams of lamb neck I'm going to show you. right so it's you can use any meat that has a bone in it to hold it nice and it also gives flavor so that's going to be boiling for about 45 minutes and then I've got four carrots which I'm going to peel and grate one parsnip, one onion, white pepper and table salt to taste so I'll put in about one teaspoon of salt and a few drops of pepper you add to your taste one potato, one sweet, two tomatoes which is now boiling water so it's easily to peel and then I'm going to grate it five or six cloves you can also put in allspice which I don't have and I'm going to put in the chili the chili is optional but I like the extra bite in there so all my ingredients the sweet the potato the carrots the onion the parsnip I'm all going to clean it and then grate it and add it to my pot right so your first step is to boil the soaked and drained washed and drained split peas and wash your meat and that's your first step so cook it in about a litre of water for about 45 minutes or until the split peas or your lentils are soft and then the second step is where I add everything else to my pot I'll top it up with another litre of water with my seasoning and cook it for another 45 minutes or until all the flavours have been blended in I'm going to show you another thing that I add which is optional I'm also going to add half a packet of this cock flavoured noodle soup mix you don't have to add it and you don't even have to add this flavor if you want to add extra flavor you can add any soup mix to your flavor of your flavor I like this flavor so I'm going to add half a packet of this to my soup mix in my second half but not right now so yeah I'll show you when I add this right I'm just grating all the veg there's the carrots and the parsnip so far I'm now going to grate the sweet and then all the veg will be going into the pot oh the sweet smells so delicious nice. so I will just continue grating the vegetables and then I'll be back and I add it to the pot When I learnt this recipe from my mom, she used to grate the potato as well. But I'm going to cut it into chunks so I have something to bite on, to chew. But you can grate all your vegetables, it's fine. I just want something else because this will go nice and soft. So it's not too big, it's just not grated. So that will, all the vegetables will be added at the same time, which is in the next few minutes. And then the tomatoes, you can grate, but that will be a messy job. So I'm just going to cut it small. And all the veg will go in together so you can see that I've peeled this tomato skin so if you put it in boiling water it just comes off easily because if you don't skin it you'll have bits of skin floating around in your soup which is not a pretty sight right so I'm going to add all this now to the soup because the peas is nice and soft Okay, so it's been 47 minutes already. 
but I was busy with the vegetables. You can see the meat is nice. The peas, the lentils are nice and soft as well. So I'm going to add all the vegetables now and then I'm going to top it with some more water. Oopsie, sorry. There's my tomatoes. Everything goes in. All my vegetables. I'll use my hand for these. Grated carrot. You can use less carrots if you want. And you don't even have to add the meat as well. If you're vegetarian, just cut out the meat. And that's the suede, swede. Parsnips. Oops, sorry, you can't see. Just put everything in. The onions, everything was grated. Except the potatoes and the tomatoes. So just put everything in. I'm going to put in my clothes. If I had all spice, I would have added that as well. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And I will taste again later. So I'm not going to put in too much at this point. So your clothes. I'm going to leave the chili whole so I can take it out just before serving. Just give that a stir. Now you see you need the water. I'll pour in some water. I will probably add more water again later on. Just let this boil for about 20 minutes and then I'll see if I need to add more water. And at that point I'm going to add the chicken soup mix. Just a few tablespoons full or half a packet I'll add that. That's optional you don't have to add it because this on its own already tastes delicious with just salt and pepper yummy lovely soup and i'm going to make dumplings and i'll show you how to make that as well so i'm going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes oops salt and pepper not too much you can add again later on so remember we add in the soup mix and there's a chili in there. If you want to, you can add some celery to this as well. The green leaf celery, not the stalks. Right, I'm let that cook. On a medium to low heat, just 20 minutes and then we come back again. Okay, for the dumplings, my ingredients are one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of salt rising flour, one tablespoon of butter, and then some sauce from the soup. So some juice or sauce from the soup, and we're gonna use that to make a lovely consistency for the dumplings. Right, so one cup of salt rising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of butter, Tablespoon of butter. I'm going to rub this together to form breadcrumbs and then I'm going to add the juice sauce from the soup. I'm going to leave this on the window to cool a bit more. That's all I'm going to do. I'm, oh, yes, and a dash of salt. You can add pepper too if you want to. Right, so all I'm going to do is just rub this together and then I'll show you when I add the sauce from the soup. Okay, it looks like breadcrumbs. I'm now going to add the juice from the soup. Just give it a stir. Add a little at a time because you don't want it too wet. Just my hand.
not sticky, it's not dry, it's just right. So all I'm going to do is just take little balls and drop it into the soup. But before I do that, I'm going to add a little of the soup mix from the packet, just for extra seasoning. You don't have to add that because as I, can, as I said, it already smells delicious. So that is ready. The vegetables are all nice and soft. I'm going to add another dash of salt. Not too much, as the seasoning from this packet also has salt in it. So I'm going to add some of this cock soup. Not much, you just need like maybe two tablespoons full, just to add some extra seasoning. But now it's also time to add the dumplings. So here's the dumplings. All I'm going to do is make little balls and drop it. You do this about 10-15 minutes before the end of it. Just make little balls, however big or small you want and drop it in. It will look like clouds once it comes up. There you can already see as it's cooking because it's quite light it will come up to the top. For me, this was the best part of the soup when my mom used to make soup. I always wanted a dumpling or two in my plate, in my soup bowl. So this is now just going to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes and then your soup is all done.